men and women. On behalf of the management and staff of the University of Ghana, I welcome you all to the 2024 college-based matriculation ceremonies. Before we proceed with this ceremony, I would like to announce that this university uses multiple media to circulate information in order to reach out to its stakeholders, including students. Let me take the opportunity to introduce you to the University of Ghana social media handles and other media platforms. Follow, like and subscribe to our social media handles displayed on your devices. For Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, you'll find us at Univ of GH. For LinkedIn, University of Ghana. For YouTube, University of Ghana. The university has had a lineup of activities to mark the 75th anniversary. The anniversary logo is usually displayed at all programs and we invite you all to participate in the programs, take pictures by the logo and share on your social media platforms. Please note the hashtag for the anniversary celebrations. U hashtag UG is 75. Hashtag UG is 75. In addition to the above, tune in to Radio Universe 105.7 for news about the university. Again, do not forget to visit the university website or college website often to abreast yourself with news and announcements. The university website is www.ug .edu.gh as displayed on your devices. As displayed on your devices, the link to the College of Basic and Applied Sciences website is www.cbas.ug.edu.gh. The link to the College of Education website is www.coe dot ug dot edu dot gh the link to the college of health sciences website is www dot chs dot ug dot edu dot gh and the link to the college of humanities website is www dot coh dot ug dot edu dot gh I hope you've been to the University of Ghana Computing Systems, UGCS, close to the BAM Library, to activate your UG email address, which is stated in your admission letter. If you have not already done so, I encourage you to. Once this is done, please do well to check your mails often for announcements and other pieces of information of relevance to you. For this matriculation ceremony, Please tweet at us using the following handle, hashtag UG matriculation, hashtag UG matriculation. Now, let's take the national anthem.
Distinguished fresh men and women, it is my privilege to hand over to the college secretary to take over the proceedings of this ceremony. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I welcome all of you to today's virtual matriculation ceremony where we are gathered to matriculate students who have enrolled for courses in 2023-2024 academic year, leading to degrees at the College of Humanities. We will confer on these new students' membership of the University of Ghana. The University will hold separate matriculation ceremonies for students on the distance education program and students on special programs later in the year. Matriculation ceremonies are in line with Article 31 of the University of Ghana Act 2010 at 806, which states that a student admitted to the University of Ghana shall take a matriculation oath and sign the matriculation register. Two, a student who fails to sign the matriculation register may be prevented from graduating by the university. Visiting students and other short stay students who are studying at the University of Ghana for one or two semesters are not part of this ceremony, but are expected to observe the same rules and regulations as matriculated students while they are here. The ceremony is in three parts. In part one, you will hear an address from the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nana Abba Apia Amfo, to be read on her behalf by the Provost of the College of Humanities. Professor Daniel Frimpon Ofori. We will be informed about the significance of the matriculation oath and what the university expects from its students. In part two, students will swear the matriculation oath to be administered by the college secretary on behalf of the registrar. The oath can be found on the university website. You will repeat the words of the oath after me at the appropriate time. Because this is a virtual ceremony and in keeping with the protocols, we have seven students from College of Humanities, namely Prince Augustine Akwa, Eja Yansio Brobe, Godfred Adakwa, Yadom, Tracy Efria Mankwa, Lawrence Saki, Filippo Usu, and Emmanuel Adakwa who will take the oath on air, and all other fresh students are also expected to take the oath. After the oath, one representative of the students will tell us the expectations of the 2023-2024 cohort of students and ceremonially sign the matricula, which is the Latin word for the register. The third part of the ceremony takes place online each student is to go online and electronically sign the matriculation oath. That is the record that indeed you are registered as a student in the University of Ghana and has accepted to abide by the oath that you are about to swear. I'm informed that many of you have already done your registration online and thank you and I urge you all who have not yet done their, their registration to go online and do this as soon as this ceremony is over. Freshmen and fresh women, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the register, registrar, sorry, I wish to thank you all colleagues at all levels for the roles that they have played in the process of admitting students, working on registration, orientation, matriculation, as well as putting the systems in place for online delivery of online delivery method that is being used this academic year. Matriculation class of 2024, we look forward to seeing you engage actively and positively in all activities of the university. And I encourage you to embrace your new roles as students of the great institution, and I wish you well in your stay at the University of Ghana. It is now time for the provost of the College of Humanities, Professor Daniel Frimpon Ofori, to present an address on behalf of the Vice Chancellor. Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellors, Registrar, Fellow Provosts, Deans, Directors, and Heads of Department and Hall, Members of Convocation, Newly Admitted Students, Parents and Guardians, The Press Corps, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nanaba Pia Amfo, 
I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2023-2024 matriculation ceremony. Hearty congratulations to all of you freshmen and women who have gained admission to pursue various programs of study here at the University of Ghana. We are honored that you made the University of Ghana your first choice, having decided to pursue higher education and worked extremely hard to qualify for admission to the premier university in Ghana. Indeed, you could not have made a better choice as your academic journey ahead promises to be rewarding, fulfilling, and enlightening within this conducive learning environment, coupled with lectures from top-notch faculty and support services from committed staff. With these, there are endless possibilities the University of Ghana has to offer. As a tradition of the university, matriculation ceremonies provide an opportunity for newly admitted students to be officially inducted as junior members of the university community. During the ceremony, you'll be expected to take the matriculation oath, which is a solemn pledge to be obedient to the vice chancellor and all those in whom authority has been vested in this university. It is undertaking to be of good behavior throughout your time as students here, promising to maintain order and discipline in everything you do. As students, you are expected to contribute your quota to enhance the university's image wherever you find yourself, ensuring that you do not do anything to bring the name of the university into disrepute. I encourage all of you to participate actively in all university activities and be committed to your studies. Dear students, you have joined us at a time when the university is committed more than ever to transform student experience to be at par with world-class universities in advanced countries. Through the Vice Chancellor's digitization agenda, lecture halls have been refurbished and fitted with state-of-the-art technologies to enhance teaching and learning. Under the One Student, One Laptop initiative, 384 laptops have been distributed to needy and brilliant students to support academic work. Sword cutting ceremonies have been performed for the construction of hotspot comfort zones. These are serene spaces to provide students opportunities of relaxation in between lectures. You may have heard about the UG at 75 anniversary which was observed in grand style last year. As a legacy project for the 75th anniversary celebration, a student experience center will be constructed. The project, as envisioned, will be a one-stop center with a full complement of resources, services, and opportunities tailored towards student needs. The proposed center will house a satellite academic affairs office Office of the Dean of Student Affairs, Careers and Counseling Center, Office of Students with Special Needs, Student Financial Aid Office, Student Account Office, SLC and GRASAG Offices, Innovation and Incubation Hub, and Student Leadership Training Center. The center will also have a large multi-purpose auditorium and smaller meeting rooms for group studies social and religious gatherings, and other student meetings, as well as open and well-kept spaces for relaxation, a food court, gym, and other sporting facilities, among others. Undergraduate admissions. Let me now turn my attention to admission updates. For the 2023-2024 academic year, the university received a total of 60,044 undergraduate applications. We were, however, able to admit a total of 29,758. Out of the admitted number, 11,500 students made up of 56.6 females and 46.4 males enrolled for various programs in all our campuses. Breakdown of enrollment according to colleges. 
College of Health Sciences, 791. College of Humanities, 4,366. College of Basic and Applied Sciences, 2,557. College of Education, 2,081. And City Campuses, 1,753. Total, 11,548. The university is committed to its policies which provide higher education opportunities to applicants who would not have had access through the Affirmative Action Policy for Women, concession of applicants from less endowed schools, admission of student athletes, and admission of students with special needs. Unfortunately, the university turned down the applications of many qualified individuals because of inadequate facilities and resources to support the large intake. Our inability to admit these applicants with excellent grades is not peculiar to the University of Ghana but to other sister universities as well. Urgent steps ought to be taken together with the government to address the issues hampering further expansion of higher education opportunities in the country. International students. The university community is rich in cultural diversity. This cross-cultural environment was purposefully created to enrich the educational experience of students and make them culturally adaptable to contribute positively to an increasingly diverse world. The presence of international students on our campuses is therefore important to us. Out of 155 international students admitted, a total of 40 students have enrolled. These students are from 14 countries across Africa, America, Asia, and Europe. We extend a warm welcome to our cherished international students and urge them to enjoy their stay in Ghana, feel at home, and make use of the services offered by the International Programs Office. Accommodation. Residential accommodation on campus has been quite challenging over the past years, most especially as the number of students admitted yearly far exceeded the number of bed spaces available. Management of the university is committed to finding a lasting solution to this perennial problem. It has therefore taken steps to complete student accommodation projects which have stalled for some time now. New projects, including the Diamond Jubilee Hall, the PhD Apartments, the Ghana University Staff Superannuation Scheme Students Hostel, are at various stages of completion. Private investors have also been engaged to invest in hostel facilities. To improve the situation in the short term, the randomized bed allocation system a novel, transparent, and equitable bed allocation system was introduced to curb the many challenges associated with the previous bed allocation process. Efforts are also being made to get suitable off-campus accommodation for students. As we do all these, we continue to prioritize allocation of beds in our traditional halls for our fresh undergraduate students. Ultimately, the university will be able to provide more beds for students, especially new intakes. Financial aid. The University of Ghana continues to promote an inclusive learning environment for all, irrespective of financial status. Along these lines, the Students' Financial Aid Office, with support from donors, bring respite to the numerous needy and brilliant students. During the 2022-2023 academic year, the University of Ghana, out of its internally generated funds, awarded 280 students tuition scholarships. The SRC also funded 238 tuition scholarships. Beyond this, our external partners supported nearly 2,000 students with partial and full scholarships. Needy students are encouraged to look out for calls for various scholarship applications on the university's website and via mail. The Students' Financial Aid Office is located at Bangalore No. 11, 
East Legon, adjacent to the Equafo Hall Annex A. Financial assistance is also available to undergraduate students through the Students' Loan Trust Fund. You may contact the Students' Loan Trust Fund to initiate the process of applying for the student's loan. Contact details to the fund have been provided in your admission letters. Security on campus. Security is everyone's responsibility, from personal safety, safekeeping of personal belongings, to protection of university property. The University of Ghana Security Unit, with a mandate of protecting lives and property and maintaining law and order, provides a 24-hour security to ensure the safety of all members of the university community. As part of measures to beef up security on campus, CCTV surveillance cameras have been installed at vantage points to help prevent crime on campus. Additionally, access control systems are being installed at all the halls of residence to prevent unlawful access to these facilities. The University of Ghana campus is a relatively safe place to be at all times. However, there may be risks around as you go about your daily activities. Among other precautions you can take, avoid isolated places, especially at night, and report every unusual occurrence promptly to the security office for immediate assistance. Excellence, discipline, and responsibility. As students, Ensure that your actions are guided by the core values of the university. Loyalty, respect, integrity, and commitment. Excellence in your academic journey can only be attained if you have the right balance of studies, recreation, and religious activities. Please note that the university is governed by rules and regulations, and breaking these rules attracts various forms of sanctions. Always be conscious not to involve yourselves in group actions that will land you in trouble with university management. I urge you to read the university regulations for junior members and acquaint yourselves with expected behaviors as junior members. Also, access your emails regularly. Listen to Radio Universe on 105.7 FM and visit the university's website at www.ug.edu.gh and social media handles for updates and notices. Health and wellness. It is said that a healthy mind lives in a healthy body. Ensure that you engage in healthy lifestyles, eat the right kinds of food, have regular exercise, and rest properly to give your body the needed vitality to pursue your academic goals. Remember that it is compulsory for all fresh students to be medically examined. A well-equipped facility has been set up at the student clinic in the central cafeteria for this purpose. This is to ensure that you go through the mandatory medical examination process with ease. Counseling and support services. The university is an exciting place but can also be emotionally stressful. The Careers and Counseling Center has therefore been set up to provide guidance and counseling services. Take advantage of their professional services if you need to. Speak to our counselors about your emotional and psychological well-being. Co-curricular activities. As young adults, you have a lot of energy, ambitions, and dreams. Channel your energy and curiosity into productive ventures. Engage in extracurricular activities. Join helpful associations and clubs. Engage in volunteerism. Learn a skill and develop any innate talent you may have. The University of Ghana Business School UGBS Innovation and Incubation Hub set up last year can provide the necessary guidance and assistance to nurture your budding business ideas into viable ventures. A makerspace with 3D printers will soon be added to the innovation and incubation hub. Chase your dreams and be the best versions of yourself by the time you complete your programs. Conclusion In conclusion, I urge you to always keep the primary aim of being here in mind and work judiciously towards achieving it. On behalf of the University Council, the Chancellor, members of Convocation, and on my own behalf, 
I congratulate you once again on your admission and welcome you warmly to this exciting learning community. I wish you a pleasant and fruitful stay. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you very much, provosts, for the welcome address. It is now time to administer the matriculation oath. May I request the matriculants to place your right hand on your chests. You will mention your name and repeat after me. I, I solemnly promise. Solemnly promise to obey the regulations of the University of Ghana. To observe the regulations of the University of Ghana. To obey the Vice Chancellor. To obey the Vice Chancellor. And those to whom my obedience is required. And to those to whom my obedience is required. To seek the truth. To seek the truth. And promote the good of the University of Ghana. And promote the good of the University of Ghana. As far as in me lies. As far as in me lies. Congratulations. I shall now call on the representative of the freshmen to deliver the expectation address. We have selected Mr. Eja Yao in Siu Brobe from University of Ghana Business School to deliver the expectation address on behalf of his cohort. Mr. Brobe, who had his secondary education at St. Augustine College, obtained aggregate six at the West African Senior High School examinations, WASI, and has enrolled into the Bachelor of Science in Administration program at the University of Ghana Business School. The Chancellor, the Chairman and members of the University Council, the Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellors, the Registrar, Provosts, Deans and Directors, Heads of Department and Heads of Hall, senior tutors, members of the con convocation, staff, distinguished invited guests, parents and guardians, freshmen and women, ladies and gentlemen. I deem it a great honor to be asked to speak on excitations of university life on behalf of the freshmen of 2024. Admission into a university feels like a new beginning, the commencement of a new chapter in one's book of life. It is a transitional period filled with an unbalanced excitations for each one of us. We are told that the first day or week in the premier university in Ghana is always unique for every batch. Ours is not COVID-19 pandemic, but random bed allocation system and strike action among union staff. We will not complete our story in future to our children without telling or saying that it was during our time that the random bed allocation system was introduced. We are on a new campus. There are numerous unknown faces all over. And you keep wondering, who you will befriend, and how you should go about things initially. The entire experience is exciting as well as overwhelming. It is an undeniable fact that coming to the university, one comes along with expectations. Whether you are on a scholarship, funding your education yourself, or your parents are your sole providers, as it is for most of us. It is the beginning of our dreams to go to a university and pursue higher education. Thus, we are full of enthusiasm and with, huge, with its huge expectations for ourselves and eager to build a future that we can be proud of. It has been barely five weeks, but it has dawned on us that the reality is far from close to the thoughts we had about university life. We viewed the picture from upside down. A good number of us attended boarding schools across the nation and beyond, so being away from home is not much of an issue. Gradually, as the days go by, we are beginning to feel at ease and becoming less anxious of what lies ahead of us about the much talked about first year university examinations. It is becoming very vivid that the university life, for a good part, is made of fun. However, one's definition of fun will determine how you have it. Ad academic work is stress. Academic work is fun. Academic work is all that matters. No, it is not. For most of us, our adulthood has in fact just started. The lecturers, administrators, and all staff of the University of Ghana are basically here to aid us in their transition into adult life. Our first few days were filled with frustrating moments, but as growing adults, we are becoming more accommodating and accepting that these initial stresses shall pass. Finding accommodation on campus is another challenge, 
when one does not get randomly allocated by the computerized system. But registration after that in the various halls was less cumbersome. I am of the firm belief that all these were and are for the good of all of us. Once we find our feet, it will be incredible. We will be in charge. Colleagues, know that society is dynamic. So every day, let's learn something new academically and socially. Remember that the university does not train us only to obtain a degree, but to provide an opportunity for us to develop holistically. Let us take advantage of the diverse facilities the university has to build ourselves for the future of this country we are called upon to serve. We are blessed today because this function describes the moment of initiation into a magnificent adventurous journey. To the class of 2024, I say, tous nos felicitations d'avance. The University of Ghana, Legon, has accepted us. As I conclude, I would like to remind us all that our fundamental aim for being here should be crowned with honor after the four years. Let us be guided by the motto of the university, Integri Quokidamus. Let us proceed with integrity. Congratulations to us all. The premier university in Ghana welcomes us. Benefit from your freedom here. Accept your responsibility and give the best accounts of your journey through this great institution. Thank you and have a fruitful stay at Legon. Thank you very much, Ejayao. We will now ask Mr. Ejayao in Siobrobe to sign the matricula on behalf of all freshmen and women of the College of Humanities. And as stated earlier, the rest of the freshmen, whether resident or non-resident, will go online and electronically sign the matriculation oath. I thank you, Mr. Ejaya Unsiu Probe, for the address and signing the matricula on behalf of your cohorts. On that note, we have come to the end of this morning matriculation ceremony for the College of Humanities. And on behalf of management of the university and the College of Humanities, let me once again congratulate our freshmen and women. Thank you for making time to join us for this ceremony. I thank you.